Bazaar have often wondered, what do those television preachers do when they change jobs? Well, through our wonderful research department, we have found famous faith healer, Ernest Ernest, formerly known as the Happy Healer, working at his new job. Let's take you there now. and thank you for coming to my station. My name is Ernest Ernest, otherwise known as Mr. Godwrench. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, just fill her up, please. Would you like regular, unleaded, or almighty supreme? <laughs> What's the difference? Regular will take you about 200 miles to the tank full. Almighty supreme will take you once around the world and bless every part of your engine while doing so. That sounds like bullshit to me. You've used it before, I think. Well, then I'll just give you regular. Now, with the power invested in me, heal this cap and release it and set it free. <laughs> Please release it and set it free. Please release this cat and set the damn thing free. Please, Lord, set this son of a bitch free. Lordy, oh, there we are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, power of our Lord. And now, with the power invested in me, I will insert the work of the gasoline lord and fill your tank. I will fill your tank. I am filling your tank. Can I hear? Can I hear an amen? Well, you just fill the fucking car. Close enough. Now, will you give me permission to see if the devil has been doing some ugly business under your hood? Yeah, sure, okay. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Be just one moment, please. Say a prayer while you're waiting. With the power, with the power invested in me, heal of this engine. Heal of this engine. Heal. Can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah, what is it? Does your car overheat? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, it's running very hot. Well, I thought I was either getting a message from the Lord, uh, or burning the fingerprints off my hands forevermore. <laughs> Holy Andy Granatelli. <laughs> oh. oh. Now, can I check your oil? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my Lord in uh, the heavens. It looks as though the devil has taken a dump in your oil. <laughs> Your oil has to be changed. Oh, no, I just had it changed. Probably by the Jehovah's Mechanics. <laughs> I can always tell their work. It's true, they go door to door, but they walk. They do not drive. <laughs> I have to give you four or five quarts of holy oil. Uh, what makes it holy? I got it from Reverend Ike's hair. <laughs> Look, I, I don't have time for an oil change. Just, just give me the cans. Okay, coming right up, sir. Or you're a busy man. Oh, my Lord in heaven, I see that you have completely ignored the 12th commandment. What's the 12th commandment? Thou shalt not drive on bald tires. <laughs> With the power invested in me, I lay my hands on your bald tires. Heal uh, these tires. Heal. Sir. There's an awful stench coming from beneath your car. Either you have just run over a skunk or I farted in my coverall. <laughs> Look, my tires are fine. Just let me out of here. All right, there you go, sir. Wait, the, go on. Sounds like battery trouble to me. Yeah, uh, you got a charger here? My son, you're looking at him. <laughs> With all the power invested in me, heal uh, this battery. Heal uh, this uh, battery. Heal. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's okay. It's my fault. I didn't have the key on. Turn the engine off. I 
believe you have boiled my intestines, causing my body temperature to exceed that of a Big Mac and fries. <laughs> I'm sorry is okay to be used for a David Letterman monologue, but I'm sorry does not quite cover the degree of discomfort I am currently experiencing. <laughs> Your bill, sir. $4,000? Yes, uh, $25 for gas, uh, $75 for oil, uh, and $3,900 for Oral Roberts. Uh, What's Oral Roberts got to do with this? That's what I'll have to pay him to he all my hair. <laughs> Here's $100 for the gas and the oil. Get your hair fixed at a barber shop. All right. Uh, take off. Watch the bumps in the road. Be careful driving out of here. It's very dangerous if you don't watch the bumps in the road. Hey, all this car. <laughs> Lord, you can't say I didn't warn him. <laughs> Billy Joe, get your ass out of here. Come on, Reveille. Come on, get, go through his pockets, get the money, okay? <laughs> Come down, burial. And then we'll get the coffin back up, because the oil tank is coming to fill this thing up. Come on. <laughs>